Toads and the Brahma Once upon a time, the earth was suffering from a terrible drought. The god of rain had neglected to bless the earth with rain. Ponds, lakes, canals and rivers all dried up. Across the lands, creatures died, bones piled up and plants withered and shriveled away. Meanwhile, the Brahma, who was in heaven and possessed the power to give rain to humans and creatures, was unaware of the agony and suffering below as he was sleeping peacefully. Amphibians like toads, frogs and bullfrogs, which were better equipped to survive such weather, were all skin and bones. One day, the leader of the toads made an announcement to his fellow frogs and bullfrogs. Hear me, my beloved friends. The Brahma may never send rain to us. So if we stay here, we will die. Come, everybody, mobilize your friends to fight the Brahma so that he may send us the rain. We are in grave danger now because we will likely die if we fight and die if we do nothing. However, since the consequence is the same, it would be better for us to die fighting for our friends. Come on, come on, my friends, let's go and fight. After making this speech, the toads and all their companions trooped to battle against the Brahma in his abode in heaven. After the amphibian troops had walked across the field for a while, they suddenly encountered another troop. The chief of the amphibian troops saw a group of large catfishes whose bodies were dirtied with dust and ashes from the field. Hey catfishes, where are you going? Why are you rolling down causing all this dust to fly around? Do you know that is hindering my troops? Mr Toad, all the fish have made a unanimous decision to take action, so they sent us. We are the catfishes and climbing perches, so we can go through mountains and reservoirs, and we wish to join you in your fight to get rain to fill our lakes and ponds. The toads were so happy to hear that. Listen everybody, now we have another troop of fish who are willing to join us to confront the Brahma. At that moment, a shout of victory rang out from these combined troops. Then, the creatures gathered together and continued their journey across the boiling dried field. Carrying on for just a short while, they soon encountered a group of insects, flying frantically with a buzzing sound. Hey! Toads! Catfishes! Climbing perches! Why are your bodies so dirty? Where are you going? Join forces with us bees. We know that you are also going to fight with the Brahma. Because without rain, there will be no trees and flowers for you. So don't slow down, let's join together in order to confront the Brahma. Do not fear death, let's go, let's go! We agree! Insects! Let's join forces to battle against the Brahma! Yeah, yeah! Both air and land forces roared aloud and went on. When they reached a farm, they saw muskmelons were lying scattered on the ground, looking so pitiful. Oh my Brahma, why don't you show mercy on us? We are suffering so much! Mr Muskmelon, what happened? Why are you all lying scattered like this? Oh, Mr. Toad, it's because there is no rain. Where are you going? Please, let us join your force, because we will soon be dried to death. If you go to fight, we are willing to risk our lives instead of living and enduring like this. Very well, you can join with us, because the more force we have, the better we are. All the chiefs of the three troops agreed to let the muskmelons follow them by rolling. After going through the field, they reached a jungle where the plants were all withered and most had died already. The army arrived and saw one or two big and strong rattans 
dying at the base of a tree. Hey, Mr. Toad, why are there so many soldiers? Where are you going? We are going to fight with the Brahm because he hasn't provided rain for us in almost two years. I see. Even we as plants are dying due to lack of water. You can see my friends have died piling on one another because of the Brahma. Oh, Mr. Toad, please let me go with you. I'm so angry with the Brahma that I no longer fear death. I'm willing to risk my life now. Please, let us join your force, because it's impossible to live like this. We dare to risk our lives as long as we can win a victory to save all those who remain. You are most welcome. Please join us. Everybody agreed to let the Rattans join the force. The combined troops carried on their journey until they finally arrived at the Brahma's abode. Mr. B, please lead your troops to prepare for invading the front path. Very well, Mr. Toad. Please count on me. I will lead my troops to enter the front way. Catfish and climbing perch, whose bodies are dirted with ashes, please lead your troops to get into a large earthenware jar, as long as it contains water. Indeed, Mr. Toad. Please count on me. I'll lead my fish troop to wait by the vases that contain water. Now the Rattans, please go and hide behind the temple pillar, near where the Brahma is sitting, but make sure he won't see you. Yes, Mr. Toad, we will hide there and make sure the Brahma won't see us. Please don't worry. You, Muskmelon, please roll down to somewhere near the long chair that the Brahma is sitting upon. Yes, Mr. Toad, we've got it. That's right, we've got it. Quickly, let's roll down underneath Brahma's seat. Oich, oich. It, it. We should hide here. Don't let the Brahma know. Climbing perches. We should wait in this vase. Oh, oh, the space is so small. Our team, which is the team of amphibians, are the front line troops who have to invade the front path. Yeah, yeah, we must win. After this order was given, the troops of amphibians went directly to the long chair where the Brahma was sitting and bawled aloud. Ye, what is the sound? Why is it so loud? So many bees! Ouch! I can't stay here! I have to flee now! All the soldiers and other gods, wet nurses, daughters, female servants, concubines and wives of mandarins were stung by bees and wasps. Aching and yelling, they anxiously ran from the temp. Meanwhile, catfishes and climbing perches threw potashes on their eyes. Hey there, you vicious toads, frogs and bullfrogs. What is the matter that you come to destroy that you come to disturb my sleep and destroy my abode like this? We have come to fight with you. Yes, yes, we have come to fight! <laughs> you, Toad, are just a little amphibian. How do you dare to go against me like this? If we had stayed where we were, you would have kept depriving us of water and left us to die. We aren't afraid of death now. You were just a master who was too busy comforting yourself to provide us rain. Many animals and plants have suffered and died, and some have almost become extinct. Come, let's attack! Attack! Let's attack! Ha! <laughs> you dare to fight with me. Come on, then. I'm not afraid of you. Ah! Ouch! Ouch! The Brahma, rising without looking at the ground, stepped on the muskmelons and slipped. The two rattans lowered their bodies and quickly pressed the Brahma's neck. As he was lying there, the bees stung The him. Brahma was in great pain and called out loudly to surrender. I agree to concede now. Please don't torture me any further. The Brahma lost! The Brahma lost! Brahma lost! The Brahma lost! Having succeeded, the chief stopped his soldiers from attacking in order to negotiate with the Brahma. Now, 
answer my question. Why didn't you send the rain? And why did you let so many animals die? Please don't be angry. It's because I was sleeping, so I forgot my obligation. I'm frightened now. I'll provide rain straight away. And from now on, I won't neglect my obligation ever again. Please go back to your homes and don't be angry. No, we can't accept it. What if you just provide us rain this time and then stop sending it again? It would be difficult for us to come again. Then what else do you want from me? Tell me and I will make everything all right. We will accept what you have said, if you promise to give us a special wish. Uh, well then, in order to ensure that I never forget again, I agree to give you a wish. Whenever you want rainfall, all of you, toads, frogs, bullfrogs, rub your teeth to make a noise. Then I will hear it and provide rain immediately. All right, we will forgive you this time. My friends, let's go back. Now we will never lack water again. Ever since that, whenever the toads, frogs and bullfrogs wanted a rainfall, they could rub their teeth together to make a noise that would summon the rain. Friends, let's summon a rainfall. Because of this story, everyone will now know the secret. Whenever you hear the frog and bullfrog song, there will always be a rainfall. The moral of the story is, unity can solve every problem. <laughs>